What's up everybody? How we doing? Hey, I have got a treat for you guys today. I'm going to show you something different. We have an item for sale. It's not mine. It's a buddy of mine's, but I know there's some guys out there that collect this stuff. And if you're interested, we'll get into the price. We'll get into everything else that goes along with it. But it's a uh, it's an antique man i want you guys to hear this thing run i want you to see it and uh some of you have asked me about it but uh, hey let's just get right into it All right, guys, so here it is. This is a home light, an old home light. Uh, he doesn't know what year it is, but he is going to sell it. And yes, it does run, and yes, it will cut through the front of a car in the back of it. So, Keith, mm -hmm. you're the owner of the chainsaw. How long you had this saw? I've had this saw about 30 years. 30 years. And uh, you've taken down some big trees, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, how much are you wanting for the saw? If anybody's interested. If anybody's interested, I'll sell it for $1,000. Okay. And then... I think it's about 19... 1960 model somewhere around there 1960s model chainsaw guys so we're gonna let him start it up it does run and i'm gonna tell you what this thing sounds like a screamer Does it have gas? Oh. You need a thing to get it off? Yeah. Let me get fire. Yep. Hurts the ear. Right yeah, that hurts the eardrums. Guys, I'm telling you, that thing is an antique. Some of you guys out there may uh, collect these things. I know at Buckeye Power Cells, they have an old 1950s chainsaw. Um, gosh darn, you've had, who did you buy that from? I bought it off of a logger. <laughs> he got done using it and set a bill up and sold it close to me. Wow. And I do have replacement parts for it for the carburetor. And uh, if it ever needs any more work done to it. So you've got replacement parts for the carburetor. And it obviously, Home Light is still in business. Yeah, but they don't make falls like this anymore. No, they're. There is no chainsaws like this anymore. Ah! 
Yeah, it's not it's not for a little girl. <laughs> Say that again. It's not for little girls, it's the man's fault. It's all yours. If you're man enough to if own it. If you're man enough to run it, it's all yours. Guys, I'm telling you that is that's a piece of history right there. Now can you can take that off obviously, right? Yeah. That's the way I always run it. Well, at the little sister bar because I did some big trees and had to cut through both sides to get through some of these trees that we have up here. What's the biggest tree you've taken down with it? Would you even remember? Eight foot crossed. Oh, God. Eight foot across. How long is the bar? I'm over. I am six foot four inches. Wow. That's that's a saw, guys. Just check that thing out, man. Then we got a tape. Now, where do you get a chain for something like that? Or do you? Oh, yeah. It's 404 chain. Yeah, I have to get a special order. Okay. Any uh, dealership. Uh, we'll be able to get it. We'll get a tape measure out and see how long it's going to get. There's the choke on her right there, guys. That's actually the primer, I believe. Wow. Okay, so he's going to get a tape measure out, see how long this thing is. Sorry, we're shaking. That thing's heavy, and it's cold out here. And uh, let's check this thing out, see how long it is. Fifty and a half inch bar. Well, that's not all. That's not the whole bar. There. Oh, that's not all of it. So you're looking at. Let's see here. I'll lay it on the other side. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, it goes back in there. And there's still more of it. Fifty-two. It's about fifty-four, because there's more bar back in there. So guys, by cutting, you got 52 is what your cutting range is. 52 inches. Uh, unbelievable. So guys, if you're interested in buying an antique chainsaw, know someone that's interested in it, get a hold of me, call me, DM me, whatever. He's wanting to sell it. Uh, and, uh, hey, some of you guys out there that collect this stuff, you might be interested. I know some of you guys are like really into the outdoors, need a big chainsaw to take some big stuff down. That would be perfect for you. Give you one more look at it. Uh, is the warranty still good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's before they had warranties. Yeah, that is true. That's before there was warranties. You can see down in there. And it really is uh, pretty easy to pull start. Not hard at all. It doesn't have a kickback at all. Okay, guys, I just wanted to take a video of that, show you if you're interested, like I said. But my buddy Keith, uh, that's a guy we cook out with every week. And uh, he's not much of a camera guy, but he is a 30-year tree trimmer with Davy Tree. Also, uh, six years in the Marine Corps. So, great guy. Best man in my wedding. And... Uh, let me tell you, that saw is worth every penny of it to someone. If you know someone who's interested in it, let them know. Have, have you get a hold of me, and then we'll work something out. But yeah, it is absolutely worth every penny. A little bit different video, but hey, you know, 
just wanting to show you guys who are uh, into tree work maybe or if you know someone that's into tree work that would appreciate seeing that share the video out to them but uh whew, i'll tell you what man as soon as we get back from vacation which we are leaving tonight we will be doing some work i've got a job i picked up today so we'll be back at work not ready for the season to start just a job to do and uh old drew bear is going to be helping me anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this one uh got to put brakes on the old ford already uh they're starting to get a little weak and uh, i noticed the pads are down a bit so we'll be doing a video on how i do brakes on the old ford f-150 don't know if it'll help any of you but maybe it will you know, I just started doing brake jobs myself last year. It's a piece of cake. You've got to save yourself the money. All right, guys. As always, Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I will see you guys. Probably we'll have a video tomorrow on our little trip down to Tennessee. So I'm out of here, guys. Peace.